Winners, Buck Kickers, champions in life. Vincent and Sam Rose here, the Fat Killer and the Fat Killer Jr. with H2G Fitness coming to you. Wow. And Will of Our Car. And I hope everyone's having an amazing day thus far, whatever it is that you're doing. Sam and I are bobbing on down the road. I'm about to meet up with a buddy of mine, and uh, he's coming on board the coaching team, and I couldn't be more excited about it. And then after that, go do a workout, and then get kiddo fed, bathed, read some books, say some prayers, say some affirmations, and uh, for him, it's going to be hitting the sack. But neither here nor there. I wanted to share a real quick message with you guys. I had a Facebook friend of mine reach out to me, and her question that she had was, about her energy levels. She said, I don't really know what the deal is. I'm getting enough sleep. I'm eating enough food. I do work out. And um, I've been getting results in my fitness, but I'm just tired all the time. I'm constantly dragging. And um, I just don't have a lot of energy. Can you give me some feedback and some pointers for me? So that way, you know, I can get to the bottom of this. And I said, sure. And I answered her back with a question. And I said, what is a goal that you have in your life that you want to accomplish over the next six to 12 months? And she wrote back and she said, I want to lose 25 pounds. I said, all right, that's a good goal. So there's four areas of your life, faith, family, finance, fitness. You got a fitness goal. What are your goals for your faith, for your family, and for your finance? She wrote back and said, well, my faith and or my finance and my family, I guess, are okay. And I kind of struggle on my faith. What's your point? And I started leaving her voice messages at this point. And I said, look, I know you reached out to me because your energy level is low. I know you reached out to me um, thinking that this was gonna be a fitness related kind of an answer that I was gonna throw back at you, but it's not. The reason I'm talking to you about your goals and asking you what goals do you have in your life right now is because whenever you have a goal that is important to you, very important to you, an all consuming burning desire in your life, a goal, a real goal, it will cause energy on tap. And how do you know if it's an all-consuming, burning desire type of a goal? Here is how you know. When you wake up in the morning, as soon as your eyes open, it's the first thing that you're thinking about whenever you wake up. All day long, whenever you're doing whatever it is that you have to do, it is the dominant thought in your mind. When you go to bed at night, right before your eyes close, it's the last thing that you're thinking about before you go to bed. I said, when you have a goal like that, that is that important to you in your life, you'll find your energy. Let me prove it to you. I said, you're at work, you're tired, you're dragging, you want to take a nap, you want to go to bed, you're not motivated, and all you want to do is go to sleep. Matter of fact, if you get a chance, you might go to, you know, take a potty break and go sleep on the toilet for 15 or 20 minutes. You're dog tired, right? And there's still, you know, seven hours left of your work day. This is in the morning. Well, if the boss comes and says, hey, everybody's getting off three hours early today. What immediately happens to your energy level? It rises. You're not thinking about, great, now I get to go home and I can get three hours of sleep of a nap. You're thinking, I got three hours back in my day. I'm getting off early. I'm motivated. I'm pumped. I'm enthused. I'm excited. And I'm going to get to do some stuff when I get off today. It's a beautiful day outside. I can't wait to go out and do whatever. What changed? your mind. That's it. Your body still had the same amount of food in it. Your body was still running off the same amount of sleep. 60 seconds prior to hearing that information, you were tired. 60 seconds after you heard it, you were awake. It's your mind. When it comes to your body, it is always a mind over matter thing. And if you don't mind, it doesn't matter. Your body does not tell your mind what to do. Your mind tells your body what to do. What to do and then your body must do it. Then I gave her an example of how this worked for me in my life, right? 2012, I was out of shape, five foot six, 207 pounds, came to the realization I was bad out of shape and I needed to get in shape. And it irked me, it became a goal, it became an all-consuming burning desire in my life. And all day long, I would eat what I needed to eat, I would do what I needed to do in the gym, it was my dominant thought throughout the day. I had one goal and one goal only. I'm going to kill this fat. I would listen to six to eight, sometimes five to eight hours a day. I would watch YouTube fitness videos, learning how to get in shape, 
and I'd listen to what they say and then I'd go apply it in the kitchen and I'd listen to what they say and I'd go apply it in the gym. I was working a full-time job. I was running a business in the evening. I would lose sleep at night. I would stay up. I would watch five to eight hours a day of material. Video after video after video after video after video after video after video. Apply, 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 apply. Fast forward three and a half months. I was down 43 pounds, competition lean. First time in my entire life that I had ever had a six pack. And I wasn't tired at all. I had a mission, I had a goal. When I woke up, I was mad that I was fat and I was gonna kill it. All day long, I was gonna take actions. I was mad, I was fat, I was gonna kill it. At nighttime, I'm studying how to get rid of it. I'm mad, I'm fat, I'm gonna kill it. I killed it. Three and a half months later, I ain't fat no more. Post a little photo on Facebook, before and after photo, for no other reason I wanted someone to pat me on the back. Had over 100 messages in 24 hours. People reaching out to me, asking me if I could help them do what they did. I brought on 50 clients my first month. All of a sudden my goal, my vision, my calling became bigger. I'm working full time, I'm running a business, I got 50 clients, let's rock baby. 12 months later, it becomes my full-time deal. I'm kicking it with Sam in the summertime at the pool at 11 a.m. on a Tuesday. Start posting pictures and videos of that. Fitness people start reaching out to me going, hey, help me do what you did. All of a sudden, my calling got bigger. I started coaching, teaching, training, and mentoring people how to do what it is that I do. It started with my fitness. It spilled over into my finance, and now my family and my friendships are solid as well. It affected every area of my life. I typically run on three to four hours of sleep. But your body needs more than that. Your body needs more than that because you tell yourself that you need more than that and you have nothing in your life that you're excited about enough to stay awake. Because if you were tired at work and you got off three hours early, now you're awake. Why does something like that happen in your life, have to happen in your life for you to get excited about your future and be awake? Why don't you have goals that are big enough in your life that mean enough to you that when you wake up in the morning, it's your first thought, dominant thought throughout the day, last thought before you go to sleep, and then you wash, rinse, and repeat, and your actions and your efforts and your energies goes towards accomplishing that burning desire in your life until it's done. You're not tired because you didn't get enough sleep. You're not tired because you're not eating enough. You're not tired because you're working out too much. You're tired because you're not motivated and you're not motivated because there's not anything in your life yet that's important to you enough that matters to keep you motivated because once you do you can go on no sleep you can go on no food you can go on no you can you can be running on fumes I'm running right now I went to sleep at I think 1 30 last night I've been up since four how many hours is that two and a half hours of sleep I'm awake, I'm energized, I'm enthused, I'm motivated, I'm going to set my buddy up right now to become a part of my coaching team, and then after that, my butt is getting to the gym and working out, doing what I need to do with Sam after that to get him to sleep, and guess what I'm doing after that? I'm going back to work. I've got two appointments tonight, and after those appointments are over, I will find another thing that I can do to be productive in my business. I'll probably record another video. I'm motivated. I've had one meal today, one. Right now, it is 5.32 p.m. Aren't you hungry? If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. I got crap to do. I'll eat later. It'll be okay. I'll get the food in me sometime. You're not tired because of your body. You're tired because of your mind. Your mind controls your body. Get excited in your life and you'll find your energy. Hopefully this helps some people. Vincent Rose, the fat killer with H2G Fitness. The future is bright. Something good is happening. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Over and out. Sam, you gonna say it? You gonna say, okay, you got it. I love you, I love you guys, peace.